Hey teacher friends, I thought I would share today a haul from Oriental Trading. Oriental Trading is a company that I used to use a lot um, as a new teacher because they had very inexpensive sorts of things and I kind of hadn't looked at them in a while and I decided to kind of look back and I was like, wow, I found some really neat um, higher quality stuff and a lot of really great educational resources. So I thought I'd share a few with you. So the first one is this learning resources. Um, it's for ages five and up. It's a skate park engineering and design building set. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what it comes with. So it was about $20, I believe. I think it's like $19.99. It comes with only one skater. So I think probably this would be this kit would be for no more than four students. I'm going to actually be using it kind of a thing for early finishers. There's some cards down here at the bottom with challenges in them that they can build. Um, I'd love to build up to the point that I can actually make this into a hands-on lesson and I have enough for um, all of my students, but maybe that's something I can contact the PTA about or, or uh, look into um, a little bit later, but isn't that cool? Now, of course, I did get a lot of just the things that you would expect that you would get from Oriental Trading. Um, I got a bunch of birthday pencils. Pencils, kids always need pencils, so it's great to have enough for their birthday. These are going to be their first day pencils um, because our mascot is the Cougars, so that makes sense with the paw prints. Um, and then I got some grippies to put on, so they'll each get two pencils. One will have a little grippy on it. And then the other, and both of them will have an eraser on it. And there's plenty of erasers there. So you never have too many pencils and too many erasers. Now, one thing that I always get every year, which is kind of controversial, and that is a pencil sharpener for each student. Now, why do I do that? Well, mostly because I don't want to spend an hour every night sharpening pencils. Um, I find it's best that, uh, that kids can sharpen their own. Now, I do have, a, have fourth graders. I teach fourth grade, so they are a little bit older, but it makes them more responsible. Are they going to lose it? Yes, which is why I always get extras and I put them in my prize box. So it's an option in the prize box. But it is so nice that kids don't have to get up out of their seat to get another sharpened pencil. Um, now, they are. I do have an electric pencil sharpener that they are allowed to use. They're only allowed to use that during transition time. So that's first thing in the morning, um, right after uh, lunch recess, and at the end of the day. Now, this is one thing that I found, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. And that is these post-it notes. Now there's two sets. There's a math set and a reading set. This is the math set. So it has hundred flats. Now these are great for teaching decimals, tenths and hundredths. They're awesome. Um, there's clocks and I probably won't really use the clocks. The only thing I could think of using these clocks for would be in fourth grade would be maybe to put the times of various things on my um, daily schedule. So I might just see if there's like another grade level that could use those. And then there's a place value chart. This is awesome. So this would be so cool for the kids to put in their um, day book, which is kind of like their interactive student notebook. I love it. And they can put all sorts of numbers in there. Um, let's see, we've got fractions. Isn't that neat? There's two of each one. And then this could be some sort of checklist or to-do list, or they could write down something like the steps for long division or the steps for multi-digit multiplication. And then we've got some uh, fractional number lines. So there's just, this is just the math one, and this is just so cool. Um, I believe there's 25 of each one. So basically like a class set. So those are the reading ones. I mean, excuse me, those are the math ones. And these are the reading ones. So we have author's purpose. We have beginning, middle, and end. Fact and opinion. Problem solution. So that's great for that text structure. We have theme. 
uh, and we have a vocabulary one. So again, there's class sets of each of these. These are just awesome for close reading. I'm so excited to have found these are very, I don't remember how much they cost. I believe each one was under $10. So that's fantastic. All right, let's look at the next one. Now these are whiteboards. And of course I didn't think this through that I'm one handed. I thought, oh, I'll just open the box and I'll be able to get it right out. Of course not. <laughs> All right. Okay, so these are just um, pencil holders, just a variety of different colors. Um, again, a very good price for these. And uh, our my students have very, very, very small desks. They don't hold very much at all. And so I really felt like they needed like their common supplies, like where they can reach them anytime. All right, get a few more. So the next thing, oh, let's flip this around. These are whiteboards. Now they're not, they're really kind of like um, a laminated card stock, but they are laminated and they are for division. So I love how everything's color coded and I love how there's a box for everything. Now I really wish I could have gotten a class set of these. I only got 10, um, but I, I know with students in learning long division, it is such a challenge for them to line everything up and to remember the steps. And so I thought this would be something I would use like in a small reteaching group. And I've, I've created something similar to this, but it's not nearly as nice as this is. And it's a right on wipe off surface with dry erase. So that's fabulous. Now I've got some um, big posters and this is for a state. Now you could do this for um, all over the country, but we study our, just our state. And so I thought this would be a really fun thing to do at some point in the year. Uh, they get to color where the state is, the state flag, the state bird, the state tree, the state flower, our, our license plate, what it's famous for, bordering states. So just a fun project for some point. And then, oh, oh, <laughs> man. And I didn't get enough of these for every student either, but these are again, right on wipe off. And they're all about place value, which is our first unit of the year. It goes up to the billions. So for those of you who teach fifth grade, that's really nice. Um, I love how big and colorful it is. Um, and I'm hoping for them to do some uh, partner activity. So I've got a place for standard form, expanded form, word form, uh, short word form, and word form. Um, and what I'm going to do is I am going to buy some pill boxes, you know, those Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, those weekly pill boxes, put dice in them, and then they'll shake it, and it'll create a number, and then they'll write the number, and then write it in the different forms. So this is something they do um, as a team. So that gives you an idea of some of the really neat stuff, educational stuff that's available from Oriental Trading for a really reasonable uh, price. I think the most expensive thing here was the skateboard park at about $20 um, and everything else was around 10 or less, like some of the pencils and things, those were even less. So if you're looking for some really cool stuff, check out Oriental Trading.